Hello and welcome to another one of my MicroTik how-to videos. My name is Steve O.C. and in this video we're going to look at policy-based routing done easily without too much detail but effective enough so that you can route specific devices to specific websites uh, without having to do too much scripting. So before we go any further, quick explanation about what we're going to attempt to do. So in this very primitive paint diagram you can see I've got my router here I have an internet tunnel a VPN tunnel and websites in general this is my local network now normally your traffic will go up into your router and then out through the internet tunnel to websites however what I want to do is I want to highlight traffic or certain traffic maybe from that device there going into the router and I want it to go to a specific website up the VPN tunnel like that. So how do we go about doing that? Well, glad you asked. First, what we're going to do is we're just going to do a quick trace route to a particular site which I have on my restricted list. And I'm going to stop the trace route there. You can see the second hop here is going through my ISP, which is PlusNet. Great, it works. Uh, I can get to it, I can resolve it, but that's not very good. It may be that the ISP will stop um, HTTP traffic because it is a known file sharing website and I want to get around this, so how can we do that? So we're going to open up Winbox and we're going to put a VPN tunnel up. Now I use two, but you can use one or you can use five or whatever you like. I use two. Um, when you create your VPN tunnel, you need to make sure that add default route is not ticked. So that, that is ticked, that will add the default route. You need it unticked, no default route. And I will explain why a little bit later on in the video, but short term just gives us that little bit more control that we need. Great. So next we need to know what devices we want to use. So if we refer back to here, what we're going to do now is we're going to identify a specific device on my network or devices. So to do that, we're going to create a restricted site device list. On here, I've put two subnets, my local network, which is just my network. There are no children's stuff, no guest stuff, nothing else, just my stuff. I know what I'm doing. And then I have my VPN in IP address list. So if I'm out and about and I VPN into home, I can still get to these restricted sites. That's great to do that, just add a rule restricted site devices, pop the address, put the subnet in, you're good to go. Then we're going to create the next part, which is going to be the actual sites that we're going to. So to do this, again, we're going to use uh, the address list and we're going to hit the drop down. I've already got a list created called restricted sites. Just hit add and you type in you know, whatever list name you want to give it, restricted sites I've used, and then you can either put the IP address in or you can put the fully qualified domain name in, so such as rbg.to there, bang, 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 and we'll enable that rule because it's on there, and you'll see there that that has automatically resolved itself to the correct IP address. So now we have both devices and sites. This is the bit we need to work on now. Actually in the router, making it do what, what it needs to do to make the traffic go kind of this way rather than that way. So how do we do that? So we're going to go into, go into Mangle and we're going to create our first rule. So we're going to hit plus and you will get a rule which looks a bit like this. I'm just going to light mine up. So it's going to be a pre-routing rule because it's before it goes anywhere. I'm going to ignore all of this. Just go into the advanced tab and we're going to use the two device lists that we've already made. So in this case, it is address lists. And that is going to be the source list. So my devices, so traffic coming from my devices. And the destination address list, which is the sites where my traffic is going to. That's all you need at this point. Nothing in extra. In action, we're going to mark that connection. The connection mark I'm using is you Tiger VPN because I'm using Tiger VPNs. You might have a NordVPN or someone else, someone else, whatever. Use Tiger VPN is what I'm using. I've ticked pass through because I want the I want the traffic to go onto the next rule. I'm going to enable that and hit OK. You'll just hit OK. Then we need another rule. So click your plus button. I'm going to double click that to light it up. And then in this new rule, we're going to do a pre-routing again. 
but we're going to use the connection mark use tiger VPN, which is the connection mark you've just used in the rule above. This time, advanced, we are going to add the same things in again, your source address list, which is your devices, and the destination address list, which is your sites. Nothing in extra action, we're going to mark the routing now. So we've already got the connection mark, we're now going to mark the routing as use Tiger VPN. I've used the same name, but it doesn't matter, it's two separate types of marking. And I've hit pass through just in case I put further rules you know, at a later date. Enable that. So now what we're doing is we're effectively marking the traffic as it comes in here, saying if you're coming from here and going to there, take this mark. So we're getting in the right place. The next thing we need to do, we need to make a natural because you've created your, your VPN tunnel. The traffic won't go through it. So natural. So add, in my case, double click there. I'm going to create a source natural. And what I've done here, I've used qualifiers as the connection mark, be my connection mark, the routing mark, be my routing mark, both use Tiger VPN in my case. And the out interface, if you're only using a single VPN, will go in here. So I could use MS or I could use the book, but being as I have multiple VPN tunnels, I'm using an interface list, which is just effectively my LTTP tunnels. Again, I will explain why I do that when I get to the IP route section. It's, it's fail over in short. And then we, we don't have anything else along the advanced list. And then action is just going to be to masquerade so all the traffic gets masqueraded. Yes, save changes. Good. Okay, so now the NAT rule works. So now we've got the traffic. And what we are doing is we are taking, let's use a different color. We're taking the traffic from here. And we're saying if you're coming from here, going to here, take a mark here, and we're going to shove you down this VPN. However, we don't know where the internet is in the grand scheme of things. So the way we get around that is by creating an IP route. And this is why I said at the first part of the video, don't create a default route. You're going to click add. I'm going to click, double click that. Destination address is going to be quad zero slash zero, so the internet in short. The gateway is going to be your VPN tunnel. I've used check gateway ping, which I need because I'm doing failover, but you probably won't need that, so you can untick that. Distance one, and the important part here is routing mark. So you need to put your routing mark in here, which in my case is use Tiger VPN. Go. I'll activate that and instantly my traffic can now go through that tunnel. So I, I just touched on why I've got the check gateway ping there. My second route doesn't have that, but it does have a distance too. And the reason for that is I can just fall, fail over between the two tunnels. If for whatever reason my primary tunnel goes out, I don't know if you'll see this very well. If you just keep an eye on the blue there, my primary tunnel goes down, clunk. And we'll just fire straight over onto that secondary tunnel. I'll bring it back up. Clunk. Oh, come on. There we go. Up. Bang. And we, we've failed. We've gone back to the primary. Failover is so simple with Microtech. So that's it. What we've done now we, is we've identified where the traffic is coming from, where it's going to, how we're going to mark it, and told it where the internet is. So the last thing to try now is a trace route. And there we go. You can see there that the trace route is different to the last one. And the reason for that is at this second point here, we hit my ISP. What's actually happening now is this second point is the far end of the Tiger VPN tunnel. And that is it. That is policy based routing done ever so simply and quickly using a Microtik router. I can't stress how easy it actually is once you get to the point of using these address lists. It's just so simple to click around and go in and out and, and just add devices and remove devices from them. So as always, if you've liked the video, please do leave a like underneath it. If you have any queries, please leave a message in the comment box. If it's quite a long query, please feel free to get in touch with me through my website. And 
please subscribe. I'm going to try and do a lot more of these videos over the next month or, th or two. So, um, yeah, please, uh, please do subscribe and I hope you enjoy and check out my other videos. Thank you.